Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to trigger If This Then That applets using your iPhone or Apple Watch. All right, let's get started. Start by opening the If This Then That app. Hit My Applets, click the new button, this, and then we're gonna click Button Widget. Then click Button Press, and then this is the part where you can make it run whatever you want it to run. So I'm, for that, going to tell it to make a notification that it will send me. And I'll tell it to send me button pressed. Okay, so now it is finished. It's that easy. Okay, so now our applet is done. So start by swiping down from the phone, swipe to the left to get to the widgets, scroll all the way down, click on edit. Then scroll down until you find if this then that or if TTT. Click on the add button and you can position it wherever you want. I'll position it at the top of my widgets. Click done and now you can run your if this then that applets from your phone. So if we scroll up to it, it will now load them. Now you can see I already have another one that uses this, but let's click on send a notification. So now it says it ran it. So now we wait for if this then that to update itself and to send me the notification. As you can see, the notification has popped up. So now let's figure out how to trigger applets on an Apple Watch. As you might have noticed, there is an if TTT app that gets downloaded on your Apple Watch. If you have that, open your Apple Watch and click on the If This Then That application. Then your screen will load and it will show you that you now have widgets on your watch and it will let you trigger them. So if you look here, as you can see, I have the um, widget we just made. So if I tap, oops, my watch went to sleep. If I tap on it, it will run it. And then it buzzes me when it's done. So now you know how to run an If TTT applet from your iPhone or Apple Watch. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button. And if you really liked it, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.